The enormous El Dorado Gold Dredge, located in Victoria's northeast, a brisk 20-minute drive east of Wangaratta, played a significant role in the region's mining history. It worked for two decades from the mid-1930s, excavating vast quantities of gold and tin from the river flats on the El Dorado Plain, a historically rich area for gold mining. During this time, the dredge processed around 30 million cubic metres of the riverbed, obtaining over 70,000 ounces of gold, almost two metric tonnes, and nearly 1,500 tonnes of tin concentrate. At the time, it consumed the third largest amount of power after Melbourne and Geelong. As the dredge was movable, the supply line sat on movable floats with a trailing cable of 330 metres, carrying 6,600 volts and a capacity of 60 amps. Electrical power drove the various components of the dredge, including the winches, 200 horsepower, bucket band, 200 horsepower, pumps, 350 horsepower, and jigs, 100 horsepower. The conveyor belt, which had 118 buckets, each weighing 1.4 tons and carrying a third of a cubic meter of material, was a key part of the dredge's operation. The buckets moved around a top pivoted steel ladder, which weighed 163 tons, passing a point at 21 buckets a minute, lifting the material from the creek. This material dropped into a top tumbler, which sent it down a chute to a trommel screen a rotating sieve for sizing or screening crushed rock or ore. The tumbler was 14.6 metres in length and 2.74 metres in diameter. Nestled on one of its dredge ponds on the outskirts of El Dorado is the largest surviving dredge of its kind in Victoria, and it is indeed a sight to behold. But what is a gold dredge? Gold dredges, like the El Dorado dredge, are large floating precious metal processing factories that use steel buckets on a rotating bucket line to excavate materials such as sand and gravel from riverbeds. The buckets carry the material on board and dump it into a hopper, which leads into a trommel that screens the gravel. The fine materials are then sent to be cleaned up for gold processing. The El Dorado dredge used jigs to extract the gold from the fine material. Jigs are mechanical devices that use water to separate particles of ore from waste material, allowing the gold to be concentrated and collected for further processing. Interestingly, bucket dredges were initially developed in New Zealand and introduced to the Victorian gold fields in the 1890s. The dredging machinery was initially steam-driven, but from the 1930s, electricity became the preferred power source. Not surprisingly, electricity supplied via a floating cable from the shore powered the El Dorado dredge. Engineer Douglas Percy Fletcher designed the El Dorado dredge, which Thompson's Engineering and Pipe Company constructed in Castlemaine for the Cox El Dorado Gold Dredging Company. Construction began in 1935 and the Mammoth machine was assembled on site and opened in mid-1936 for £90,000, approximately $5.5 million today. What made the El Dorado dredge so unique? Upon completion, the El Dorado dredge stood as a unique marvel in Australia. It was the largest of its kind weighing over 2,500 tonnes and boasting a pontoon length of almost 70 metres. Its towering height of 50 metres above the water at the bow and a width of 20 metres made it a sight to behold, sparking excitement and curiosity among tourists. The dredge is 64 metres long, 20 metres wide and 50 metres high at the bow, and it weighs a colossal 1,880 tonnes. At El Dorado, visitors can get an up-close look at the interior of the dredge via a steel gangway. We thoroughly enjoyed exploring the inner workings of this impressive machine from a secure walkway down the middle. Information signs within and around the dredge serve as a treasure trove of knowledge, enriching the understanding of individuals interested in engineering and mining. They include detailed diagrams, fascinating photographs and a wealth of written information providing a comprehensive insight into the rich history and operational mechanics of the El Dorado Gold Dredge. Mm -hmm.